Okay, so late breaking news. As you may have heard, former president and what looked to be inevitably like he would be the next president of the United States, Donald Trump, survived an attempted assassination as he gave a speech in Pennsylvania. But people want to know, okay, what does this mean? What does this mean in the Bible? What does this mean prophetically? What does this mean for us? What does it mean as a nation? Number one, it means that you need to pray for your nation. It doesn't matter which uh, side of the spectrum, which side of the aisle, where you fall on the political spectrum. None of that matters. One nation under God, you need to pray for your nation if you love your nation. That is the greatest thing that you can do for your nation is seek the face of God for your nation, for your brother, for your people, for your neighbors. If you want to spread the love of God, show the love of God, show love to your neighbor, you do that by praying that God would bless and keep your nation, that he would restore order to your nation. God is not the author of confusion. And when people are all up in arms and chaos and rioting and fighting against each other and fighting within families and finally fighting within cities and going at each other, that's God's not the author of all that. That's that's confusion. God has nothing to do with that. He's about order. So pray that God would restore order and peace to your nation. Secondly, uh, what does that mean? That means you better be in church tomorrow. This happens Saturday afternoon or Saturday evening, depending on where you live in the country, but you need to be in the house of the Lord tomorrow. Why? Not for fear, not because you're scared about what's going on, but because we know that evil men and seducers shall wax worse and worse. And we know that um, nations shall rise against nation and, and that men's hearts will begin to fail them for fear. And we don't want people to run and be afraid and panic, but be in the house of the Lord where you can be encouraged, where somebody can preach to you, where peace overflows in the sanctuary, where there's safety in the house of the Lord, where you can hear the word of God and where you can unite with other believers and pray and uh, being encouraged because we know that these things are going to come to pass that eventually every nation will uh, go against Israel that every nation is going to make a choice whether to turn away from God or uh, to befriend Israel and each individual will have a choice to turn towards God we know these things are coming to pass we know it's coming upon this world but you have to make up your mind to be in the house of the Lord, I'm going to serve God with everything, not not because of this assassination and not because out of fear, but because you see the signs are all laid out and it's all coming to pass the way that it said it would happen, that all all this violence would fill the earth like as it was in the days of Noah, that violence filled the earth. But people went on like uh, it was all part of, oh, it's all been done before. Like it was nothing. You hear that argument now, you're going to hear it. Oh, man, people have been a, they've been trying to assassinate people for a hundred since the beginning of the nation. It's, it's happening. There's nothing new under the sun. And that and that is true. And so when it talks about like in the days of Noah that they were uh, marrying and giving in marriage, they went on through with life as if nothing was happening, even though violence was filling the earth and God was trying to get everybody's attention, waking them up, showing them what was happening in the earth and just trying to speak to men's heart. And Moses or Noah was preaching the message that judgment was coming. But still, they did not want to hear it. So you, your job is to wake up and see that things are, are playing out before your eyes, that violence is filling the earth. But you cannot go on as if this is just another day. You need to make a choice for yourself. I'm going to return to the house of the Lord. I'm going to give him the best of whatever I've got. The years that I've got, I may have not been serving him, living for God, but I'm going to make up my mind. I'm going to serve the Lord.